in the surah called Anfal, the 24th ayah. He said, I was a Samil Alim and Shaitan Rajim. Ya ayuha ladina amanusta jibu lillahi wa lil rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ida daakum lima yuhi kum wa alamu anna allaha yahulu bain al mar'i wal kalbihi wa annahu ilayhi tuhsharun. What taku fitna tala to see banna ladina valamu minkum khasa. وَعَلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهَ شَدِيدُ الْإِقَابِ In this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to us, O you who believe, respond, give your response, your obedience to Allah and His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when He calls you to that which gives you life. And know that Allah comes between a man and his heart. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the inner recesses of a man's heart. And that knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can fortify that if it is good. And Allah can reject it if it is other than good. Because Allah, he knows what is between the consciousness and the heart of a person. Allah, he knows. Then he says to us after that ayah, and the fear, fitna, that is disturbance or corruption or social upheaval. Fear, the fitna, the corruption, the social mis uh, upheavals that does not only affect those of you that do the evil in particular. This is a very special ayah, a very special sociological meaning here. You see, we Muslims, we think that as long as we are on the boat called Islam, we safe. Even though we are on the ocean of kufr, we think we're safe. We think that as long as we're on the boat called Islam, we're safe. Even if the captain of the boat is a kafir, we think we're safe. We think that we're safe if we're on the boat of Islam, even though maybe the captain himself is a munafiq. He already been paid to take us another direction. He's a Muslim, but a munafik, a criminal. He's been paid by kafirs or others to take us another direction. But we think because we're on the boat of Islam, we think we're safe. No. And we also think that as long as we go to the masjid, as long as we're reciting Quran, as long as we're making sajda, as long as we're making tasbih, as long as we're making hajj, as long as we're wearing certain clothes, as long as we're born of a Muslim family, as long as we're eating halal meat and so forth and so on, we think to ourselves, never mind these kafirs. Allah will accept our prayers. We will be judged for ourselves. No, Allah is telling you and me that if you live in a diseased environment, you also will get the disease. If you live in a diseased, unstable, destabilized neighborhood, you your sons and your daughters, your, 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 your father and your mother, your sisters and your brothers, they will also be destabilized and dysfunctional. So Allah is telling us, and fear Allah, and fear the fitna that does not merely affect those of you who do the wrong. No, the Prophet ﷺ gave us an example of that. He said, he gave us the analogy of the people who got on a boat. And some was in the upper deck and others was in the bottom deck. We Muslims is like the ones on the upper deck. We don't drink, most of us. We don't gamble, most of us. We don't drug, most of us. We don't commit zina, most of us. We don't do those things, most of us. That puts us in the top of the boat. That puts us in the top of the society because we are sober, we are conscious. We are guided, we are aware, we are disciplined, we are Muslims, mashallah, in the top of the boat. But there is some others in the bottom of the boat. They are drinking, they are drugging, they are lying, stealing, committing fornication and other major crimes. And among those is Kafirs and Muslim, Muslim, Muslims who are criminals who's in the bottom of the boat with the Kafirs. And we think, because we're in the top of the boat, a boat called Islam, 
we think we're safe. No, the prophet Salah Sam said that if the people on the bottom of the boat, they drill a hole in the bottom of the boat because they're jealous. They, they, they drill a hole in the bottom of the boat because they want to get their own water. They don't want to be coming up to the top to be getting nothing from you, even though they know what you got up on top. They don't want to do that. So they say, you stay on the top. We on the bottom. That's our part of the boat. We're going to drill a hole, get our own water, do what we want to do. That's the society. We're on the boat called the society. We're on the top deck called Islam. The Prophet Sallallahu said, if the people in the top of the boat allow the people in the bottom of the boat to drill that hole in the bottom of the boat, what's going to happen to them? The whole boat will sink and everybody will drown. So this is where Amr bin Ma'roof wa Nahir al-Munkar, it comes in. That we have to stop the people on the bottom of the boat from doing that action because just because those of us who fear Allah, we think we won't be affected, we will be affected. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Istajibu lillah wa lil rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Respond to Allah when he calls you and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he calls you to that which will give you life. What does it mean give you life? Doesn't mean give you physical life, you're already living. But it means bring dignity into your life. Bring honor into your life. Bring empowerment into your life. Bring functional stability into your life. Bring distinction into your life. This is what Allah is telling us. That by responding to Allah and His Messenger, that response will bring you a new sense of life.